All right, everybody, welcome to this week's ABS Supernova webinars. As I uh, mentioned to you guys previously, uh, the webinar sessions will be recorded and uploaded to our YouTube channel. Um, you can locate this the Marmon Food Service Technology YouTube channel. So during our webinar, how can we communicate via the webinar? Um, during the webinar, you can please type in all your questions via the chat feature. So as you can see here, you'll find uh, an area that says chat. Click on that and just type in your questions. Um, questions will be reviewed at the end of each presentation. So what's today's topic? Today's topic is how to get the latest software and update on the ABS 2.0. So what's needed as far as tools? You'll need a PC laptop to download the software from website. You'll need a USB drive to save the downloaded software and to upload the software to the ABS 2.0. Just a quick here tech tip for everyone's awareness. It's highly recommend to use an empty and working USB drive to ensure only the ABS 2.0 software files are present during the update. You're asking yourself, why do we want to update the software? Well, you want to ensure the unit is running on its latest software revision at all times. And also, you want to enable any new features that have been implemented on any software um, revision application. So first step. So all software will be, uh, will be found through the Coke Parts website. So just go to CocaColaParts.com. And then you're going to locate the ABS 2.0 section. And there's going to be a link here that says, software download you click on that link that link will take you to this website it's a box.com website you're going to proceed to the area where it says download so you click on download and you're going to get a secondary screen that says your download is in progress so this will go away by itself once that goes away you're going to locate in your downloads folder because that's where the software was downloaded. Locate the folder that it downloaded off the website. And for your awareness, it will be a zip folder. Okay. And what I mean by zip, you'll see like a little zipper right there on that folder. That's what we consider a zip folder. You want to open up the zip folder. Inside the zip folder, you'll find these two items. You want to select and copy these files and paste the files to the USB drive. So you locate the USB drive um, through your laptop. Obviously you have to make sure that you have the USB inserted into the laptop to be able to be located it um, through your PC. So once you open up the zip folder, you copy these items, you paste the files to the USB drive, you proceed with taking that USB with you. And now we're gonna go to the unit, we're gonna select menu, we're gonna go into technician, and then the passcode to go into technician is the following, 9876. You select the green arrow, and then we're gonna locate software update. You wanna, you wanna insert the USB drive into one of the UI display ports. Then once you select the software update from the screen, you're gonna get this secondary window right here. At this moment, your USB should be already inserted on the, on, the, on the units, and the update software from USB will be lit up. Just a tech tip for, for awareness as well. If this button does not illuminate, what that means is the software was not transferred correctly onto the USB drive. As you can see here in this picture. If the files were transferred correctly onto the USB drive and the USB drive is working as it should, the update software from USB will lit up. You proceed with pressing this update software from USB and the update process will start. After the unit goes through its full update software process, you then proceed with removing the USB drive from the UI display. This brings it into our end of our session for as far as the this week's ABS 2.0 webinar session. Uh, once, once again, visit our website for future opportunities.
to register for upcoming ABS 2.0 trainings. At this moment, I'll go to my chat just to make sure if there's any questions you know, that were recorded as I was going through the, through the session. I do not see any questions through the chat. Does anyone have any other questions, concerns regarding this process? All right, so once again, uh, this YouTube or this uh, webinar session video will be uploaded to our YouTube channel for future um, viewings at a later time. Once again, thanks for joining and have a great rest of your day.